pray that as you lead us with this session, guide us, and after the session, Lord, let's see you and give you thanks. We pray this believing and trusting in your holy name. I want to welcome you to this meeting, particularly because it's a very, very important uh, meeting uh, because we are all in uh, public service. And when we are all in public service and uh, there's one of fans who, who maybe have not been had a chance to meet, uh, th there has always been that urge uh, waiting for you. We are very happy to have you today. I want to possibly say that um, when P.S. was just, I think, one day or two, uh, he went with us to Parliament on the issues to do with the, 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 the Kenya Rose Bill. And um, he represented us so well. In fact, members of Parliament were asking, really, have you been there? Or you, you know, because he was able to articulate issues that were very, very important to ensure that at least the, the members of parliament, specifically the transport committee, were able to appreciate why the bill was crafted in the manner that was crafted. At some stage, when again we were even to meet CAS earlier, that is when we had a, a washout at Maimahiu. And I think even then, you had not even finished a week in the ministry, maybe one or two weeks, and we had to be with him on the ground for a whole one day, and we worked together with a team that was uh, on the ground, Junior Kifoto and his team, because that is Corridor B, and we were able to fix up the road within one day. So he actually has been involved a lot in what we are doing. Unfortunately, he has not been able to engage with you, but we are lucky today that he's able to go, he's, he's, he's here with us, and he's going to be, be, able, to, to be able to engage with you. The people you see, are within headquarters. We have uh, 10 regions uh, out there uh, who wish actually takes care of the regional network. And we also have created three corridors. And the reason of creating the corridors was that we realized those corridors carry very heavy traffic and very high traffic. And they require they required to actually have special attentions which are actually focused. And these corridors, uh, the first one is from Mombasa to Nairobi. And it ha also branch have branches from uh, Foy to Taveta. The other branch is uh, from uh, the river to Namanga. The other branch is from Memari to Loitoktok. Uh, and that now covers the, 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 the corridor A. Then we have the corridor B, which is us from Nairobi. Goes all the way to Maraba, as you know it, as a straight line. But it also covers the section through Maimahiu. Uh, to Narok, uh, Bomet, Kisi, all the way. And it covers also the, the section from uh, Mau Summit all the way again to Busia. And then finally, the other corridor, which also attracts a lot of traffic, is from Nairobi uh, to Thika, to Nyeri, or Marwa, uh, going all the way to Isiuru and Moyare. So these are the people who are not with us here because they are out there other than possibly their readers. I can see some of their readers here. Uh, they, are, they are out there uh, making sure that at least they are attending to um, all the occurrences that are happening within the, the road. Possibly that is the more reason why you find that um, we are able to get um, information in good time for purpose of uh, uh, working to see to it that we attend to the problems that have arisen. We want to thank you, uh, the CS and the government, for giving us such a big favor for restructuring Kenya from where we were before, grade 3A to grade 7A1. This is really an achievement. We are now where we belong. We handle very, main, very important resource called the road infrastructure. And that is accompanied by every expenditure which government allocates to us to be able to implement. From that uh, privilege and honor that was bestowed on us, this team of men and women has of late become very motivated. And we want to encourage them to continue being that motivated so that we can deliver our mandate to Kenyans. Number three, 
peers, I also want to report from where the board sits, this is a very disciplined workforce. So I want to commend you for protecting your career, for protecting your work, and this is also a good achievement. One appears with those few remarks, I is now my duty and privilege to invite you to speak to us. Karibu san. Today, mine is just to come and say hello. And uh, I'm glad to be part of you. I think uh, you are the big brother in the ministry, as Kenha, because you handle the most of the road assets in the country. And so on the basis of that, you are the people we look to as um, setting example. And that's why even it is not by accident that in the review of your status through the SCAC, you are the first one to be upgraded. That's a huge, <clears throat> that's a huge responsibility that you have upon yourself. One thing I can for sure say is that you work well. And uh, I see energetic group. I see innovative in the way you do things. And some of the systems that you've put in place I think is what is being copied by other agencies within the ministry. I really want to thank you and uh, appreciate your dedication to duty. I think one thing you know is that um, the president has put infrastructure as his main agenda. Road infrastructure is his key. The ex uh, there's a lot of expectation on us from the presidency. There's a lot of expectation on us by Kenyans. I want to also thank the board and yourselves for the great work you're doing on emergency response. The only thing I just want to urge you is that um, for those who are managing the assets, the road assets, the maintenance team, be on the ground constantly. There are a number of things which, again, <clears throat> as we move, we will uh, be expecting a lot from you. Uh, for instance, I know money is a challenge, but with the little that we have, can we make the best? I would like your planners, let's see if we can even further reduce the cost of construction. In maintenance, if we focus on drainages, we will reduce the damage that will happen on the surface that we drive on. The other area that I want to mention and this is mainly on the guys who are managing the development, the implementation of projects. I think that is an area that we need to slightly pull up our socks. Yes, projects are being delivered, but not to the speed that we would want. Let's push the contractors to the best of our ability. And if there is any obstacle, because I also understand uh, access of the work sites at times becomes a problem. Relocation of services is also another issue. If there are such instances, please, the DG's office is there. The DG's knows when to escalate it to my level and how I can also raise it to the next level and deal with my colleagues in other uh, state departments so that we can have access of the work sites within the shortest time possible. The resident engineers, don't be so comfortable with the contractors. Don't be so cozy. You see those guys, they earn because of the work they do. And if they can get away by making you be so comfortable with them so that you close your eyes for certain details, they make easy money. Don't make it so easy for them. Because when they have gone, the asset remains with us. The asset is Kenyans. And when our fellow citizens don't get quality, value for money, I think in as much as they may not be able to know who was supervising, but they'll be cursing whoever supervised. We have an obligation to safeguard the resources of, gov uh, of public. I would want to urge us to really put on a lot of effort to make sure that we give proper supervision and ensure that they deliver on time. 
where there are cases of delayed fund exchequer requests, I think once they reach my desk, I'll make sure that I follow Treasury so that they can give us money within the shortest time possible so that we can move on. I want to wish you well. I want to urge that you dedicate yourself to service and continue doing the good work. I think if there is anything I've said here is that I'm proud to be associated with you and I want you to continue doing well. Uh, soon I'll be starting, uh, I'll be reviewing each of our agencies on the basis of their delivery. So I'll look at what you spelled out at the beginning of the year and I'll look at it at the end of the year and I'll try and see who among the three uh, agencies that are implementing is the best. And so far, I can say you are not very far from the top. Let me just assure you that um, sitting before you here is about 200 uh, officers in the restructured Kenya, out of the current 530 or so. We have an establishment, final ultimate establishment of about 700, but we've only filled about 530. We appreciate that you've actually identified us as the big brother. The board chair also said that, and we've set a good tone at the top. Our culture is such that enables us to do this thing led by the board and the leadership of the ministry. We'll pull up our socks on the manage project management issues. We know that uh, there's uh, always more to be done. There's always more to, to try to excel. And we want to assure you, sir, that um, we'll do that. Generally, this is a good authority. I mean, I, I recap a few days, I think four days ago, we were awarded as a country uh, the best uh, transport and road infrastructure development was awarded to our, His Excellency, the President of Kenya. And I think this only comes as part of the dedication of this team. I wish to, to thank God Almighty for this day, making it possible for our v peers to visit. Our peers, sir, we want to thank you for coming to see our workplace, see where we work. We don't only meet in the field. And for those of you who do not know, when the PS was very new, he was baptized with fire. The features of uh, my Mahu decided to open up. <laughs> we went with the PS, stayed there the whole day until very late. And I can assure you, we are able to fill uh, that cavity in a record time, eight hours, 2,000 cubic meters of rock. Thank you, sir, for being with us that day. Flooding now is, is a reality. Flooding, like I said, is a reality, but we are up to the tax. Our contractors are on uh, alert mode. We not only need to press the, the button. They are ready to do most of the works. The only few challenges that we have is Maimahiu, Kainuk, and uh, Bura Madogo. Bura Madogo is the only road that I can say has been cut off. There is no passage. But all these others, they are small hiccups where we have the traffic not moving for some, some time. But I can assure you, we'll be able to sort out this very soon. Our board, led by our chairman, we wish to thank you for your support, including today's attendance. Then we have a very supportive DG who has been supporting us throughout. You take any paper to his office, it's approved within the shortest time. I wish to thank you, uh, all of us for keeping time and giving the peers a very warm welcome. With those remarks, Asante Nisan. Thank you, Father, for the deliberations that we have had. It is for the good of our nation. We continue praying, O oh Lord, for your wisdom, guidance, and the strength that we shall be able, O oh Lord, to fulfill all the commitments that we have had for the sole purpose for the improvement of this nation's uh, network. For we pray all this, trusting and believing in Jesus' holy name.